Hey photographer, Jessica Whitaker here. And in this video, I'm walking you through my very simple setup for vlogging. I'm also going to be touching on how I plan out my vlogs, how I edit and how I create the thumbnails. When I first started consistently making vlogs, I was living in New York City and I was actually just using my phone, which was a great starting point. But did you know that you can get a real camera setup with better quality without breaking the bank? Now I use the Canon M50 with a 15 to 45 millimeter 3.5 zoom lens. And you are able to get this combination for a very low price on KEH.com, which is where you can buy used camera equipment. And they are actually the sponsor of this video. When I was looking for a vlogging camera, I was looking for two things. One, a camera that I could switch out the lens on if I wanted to. The second priority for me was having the screen be able to come out. But lastly, using this camera is so simple and very intuitive to set up. This is what I use and love, but down below in the description box, I'm going to have other suggestions and they are all on KEH.com. There's no reason to buy new equipment when you can save hundreds. KEH thoroughly quality inspects all of the equipment that is sent into them. So so you know exactly what you're buying. On all of their listings, there's a quality tier system. So it goes from excellent plus, which is essentially like new, down to bargain. And bargain would have some visible wear and tear. There's nothing that's going to affect the actual picture quality. If you're interested in purchasing on KEH, I have a coupon code and I also have a selling bonus if you have any gear that you're wanting to sell for some cash. So let's now talk about microphones. This is actually a new addition to my vlogging setup and it has made a world of difference. Plugs right in and it's super simple to set up and you can buy audio equipment used on KEH and again, you're able to save a lot of money. In the past, I would use a cheaper option. It was around $60, but I would do say that stepping up the quality audio wise is where you want to spend your money. Um, and when you can buy used, then you are saving quite a bit, but this was 100% worth it as opposed to what I was using before. For. In fact, I stopped using that cheaper budget mic because it wasn't making that much of a difference in my video. So I hadn't used it for quite a while. So if you're going to be investing in a camera, you also need to look into the audio. Another piece of equipment you might want to consider having is a artificial light source. So that could be a ring light, it could be soft boxes, or it could be something very simple like this little LED cube. This is also great for selfies. <laughs> so what you can do with this is adjust the intensity, but you can also adjust the color. So whether you want to be warmer or cooler, and this can hook in place of the microphone. However, you still wanna have audio, right? So what you're gonna to want to do instead, let me show you though how this works. So you can pop this right here onto the flash, and then you can also though, if you want it to be vertical, take this little bit out and then slide it in here. What you will want to do is get a little tripod. This is a tiny mini little tripod. I actually used to use this on my vlogging camera, but it didn't give me a lot of flexibility. So I ended up upgrading and I'll share with you the tripod that I use, but I now use it to put my LED cube on. The only time that I'm really going to be using this little cube is if I am sitting down and really talking through something on the vlog. So I'll have this down and then I'll have my tripod, whereas I'm not gonna be holding both of these things at the same time. These are the tripods that I use. As you can see, there's quite a big size difference. Now these are both by the brand Joby and they are Joby Gorilla Pods. What size you get is going to depend on your needs. With these, you cannot adjust the height. You can adjust it in the sense of widening the legs, but it's not like a traditional tripod, but it works great for vlogging because it's a lot more comfortable to hold. Now, my recommendation for a more traditional tripod that you're able to adjust the legs and the height so much more on, I will also have linked down below. I use the brand Manfrotto and those are going to be heavier duty so you can hold a DSLR on it. You can get all of this equipment used on KEH. Again, they're linked down below. The last thing I wanna to touch on when it comes to gear is getting an additional battery or two if you can swing it, but this is mandatory because 
When it comes to most cameras, the battery drains so fast when you are using video. And when it comes to batteries, you want to make sure that you are buying the brand name batteries. Do not buy a third party. There are a lot of horror stories about buying those kind of batteries. They can even explode your camera. You want to get the Canon brand, the Nikon brand, the Sony brand. It's worth the price. I know it sucks to spend your money on, but it's cheaper than repairing an exploded melted camera. Now let's talk Talk about the video settings when you are shooting. So I shoot with my shutter speed at 120 and then I like to have my aperture as wide open as possible and then what I do is with my movie recording size I shoot on 60 frames per second. On this camera and on most cameras there is a dedicated video mode and that is what I have my camera set to as opposed to shooting in manual. Now let's talk a little bit about planning for your vlog. You want to make sure that the vlog has a point of interest. So for me, because my YouTube channel is on photography, when I'm creating vlogs, even though I'm sharing a bit more of my day-to-day -day personal life, I still want to make sure that I'm incorporating my photography business within the vlog because that is what people want to see most of. My advice is that when you are first starting to create vlogs, you want there to be a subject, topic, some kind of event that is happening within the video. Even though there are lots of vlogs out there that are sharing the everyday, and I enjoy to watch those as well, in terms of searchability, when you're just starting out, you want to think in terms of keywords and having something within the vlog that can reflect that, that's searchable and of interest to somebody who's just coming upon your videos. Now let's talk about the vlog editing. I use Final Cut Pro and I really like it. Now, when it comes to editing the vlogs, I try not to spend too much time on it because of the nature of the vlogs that I create are quite casual. I don't put a lot of pressure on myself cinematography wise, so I feel like the editing can be pretty casual. I do use music in almost all of the vlogs and I'll have a link to where I get royalty free music that is really good. Lastly, for editing, you're going to want to do color grading. So that's where you are adjusting the colors of the video clip itself because a lot of the times when it comes to our cameras, they fall very flat and color grading can be very easy to do, but you're gonna wanna look up tutorials depending on what software you're using to edit. Lastly is thumbnails. There are so many videos on YouTube about how to keep up with the thumbnail trends and there are two in particular that I would recommend if you're just starting out. One trend is having a horror horizontal screenshot just from the vlog uh, footage. So this would be something eye-catching. Another popular one and one that I do is when there are three vertical photos put together in a thumbnail. So you have a little grid and this is actually done in Canva. Throughout me filming the vlog, I will go and take photos on my iPhone in 16 by nine. So that's like Instagram story with. Take photos of things that I know will be interesting and eye-catching for a thumbnail. So so for example, I'll do a photo of myself almost all the time and then I will do a photo of like a camera or a setup that I'm doing for a photo shoot and then something else like a bouquet of flowers that my boyfriend got me that's just pretty. And when it comes to vlogging, my biggest piece of advice is to have a good audio and go easy with yourself when it comes to editing so that you can get it up. Don't stress yourself out too much by thinking it has to be perfect. KEH is where you're going to be able to get all of the gear, whether it's a tripod, the camera, the microphones. It'll be linked down below. Bookmark it for later because it's a great resource. I will see you over in my next video. It's a golden hour portrait set session at one of my favorite locations in Seattle. I'm sharing a handful of tips and tricks when it comes to posing. Click right here to watch and I'll see you there. Bye.